What's going on everybody? I am Wade, and I am the owner of Imperial Automotive Solutions, and I run this channel. Um, I am going to be doing a series of videos uh, showing you guys how to take care of um, your vehicles properly, uh, but also um, taking care of co uh, coated, paint corrected cars, higher end cars. Um, we're basically going to be covering everything from the low to the high, um, and today this specific episode, I know it's not really starting at the basics, but a lot of you who do follow me are in the upper echelon of detailing or you're starting to get there. And um, behind me is a, a 2017 Z06 that I did eight months ago, seven months ago maybe. Uh, I coated it with quartz and uh, IGL quartz. And I wanna go over how to maintain this coating uh, when you're done washing the vehicle. This has been washed roughly about 12 times now since we've coated it. It stays stored in the facility that I work out of and um, <clears throat> he has washed it personally himself zero times. We have done all the washes on it, which is why there are no scratches in it. Still, um, I'm actually quite amazed because usually by now you start to see something, um, but the, uh, the coating does a really good job helping the paint resists marring and also the factory paint which is uh, notably hard, which really it isn't. Um, it's just flexible, which helps resist scratching too. Um, so the best way to take care of this, and I'm gonna show you how I do this. Okay, so after you're done with your wash and air dry, you're gonna wanna final wipe the vehicle to get it to have a uniform glossed look. It's kinda hard because I don't really, my shop lights are covered by this fucking plastic. So it's kind of annoying, but um, and some portions of the vehicle, there will be water spotting. Most of this was already wiped down, and I don't really have any water spots to show you. But um, the water that we use comes out of this tank here, and it is stupid hard, and it's annoying. Um, looking and in investing in a, a rinse system that has deionized water. Um, but yeah, don't, <laughs> don't flame me, bro. Um, so I use distilled water, and what I do is I give my, my rag a couple quick mists, right? Um, it's important to not use spray waxes, spray detailers, quick detailers, anything of that nature. And you kind of just give it a nice light wiping to lift the water spots off. So we've got some water spots here. Normally they would have eaten into the paint, but they didn't because of the coating. Um, and you just kind of go around and lightly dust the vehicle off and no pressure, just kind of Drag the towel back and forth, flip it to buff any streaks you may have put in out. Just a nice, nice light hand buffing. I hate the word buff, but in this case, I guess it works. And you can do a couple of panels with just one spritz of water. Obviously this has been done already, so. But essentially it just goes like this where you do this by hand. And uh, if you use detail sprays, uh, you know, you, you do risk streaking and smudging and all of that stuff because uh, simply uh, put, the coating is a very, f very flat surface and it's not going to accept waxes or spray sealants that are of polymer, you know, based nature or something with synthetic crap in it that isn't of the same material as the actual coating itself. So that's pretty much it. Very straightforward, very easy to understand. Um, coating cars and taking care of coated cars is a very tedious process that requires uh, a lot of finesse and training, mistake making. Uh, it requires you to basic, basically uh, you know, learn on the fly, learn on the job. Uh, you can't really read everything. You can't really, you know, you can't learn from reading everything. I mean, and a lot of people are hands-on and most of the time detailers are hands-on learners. So um, if you are coding or have coded cars and you're having a hard time uh, keeping them uh, from looking streaky and a smudgy mess, this may be the solution to your problem. Um, also, uh, you should probably look into silica spray sealants rather than waxes or spray detailers. Uh, the two main ones that I use are CarPro Reload and IGL Premier. 
Um, I use Reload mostly on my lower end jobs that don't have ceramic coatings. Those are just kind of like just my wash and seal stuff. And then I use IGL Premier for my three and six month maintenance on all my coated cars. Uh, it's a really, really good thing to use, um, and it's it's probably not a good idea to to, to layer it every week or every month um, because the same thing will probably happen. Um, so it's better to just do it once every three to six months, um, and then if you do it on a six-month mark, you should probably clay bar the vehicle very lightly, um, use a very light clay, or um, in, in some cases you won't even need to. In some cases you can just use an iron remover. Uh, like Iron X or Iron Free, something that's pH balanced that won't hurt the coating. Uh, and that will actually get rid of about 90% of the shit that you're feeling in the paint, which uh, is really nice. So uh, again, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions on future videos, I'm going to be putting out videos a couple times a week, maybe once a week, once every two weeks. It just depends on how busy I am and uh, how often I get to doing things. Um, so... I know that the topic of the videos is probably not going to be like very specifically in order. Um, I'm not going to do like beginner stuff and then advanced stuff. And then, you know, I'm just going to jump around and do random videos and uh, hopefully you guys will learn from them. So, all right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.